Hey friends, uh, here's an update. It is May 8th. Uh, it is a Wednesday and yesterday was Tuesday. I had my conventional treatment. That was day one of round three. So I just had my first day of hopefully my last round of chemo the last month. So I'm supposed to have three chemos and then one week off. Um, so if I play my cards right, I have two more chemos left. Um, I will be keeping up with Herceptin and Progetta for a while after because I do think that one's important um, as long as we're tracking my heart um, because that one is well known to damage the heart. So um, as far as what's been going on with me, um, I think the biggest thing is I asked uh, my partner and my sister and um, what they had noticed uh, as far as if I've been forgetful and I've noticed certainly that I've lost my edge a little bit because uh, I'm normally a pretty sharp person, so you can tell when you start to drop a little bit. So, uh, so they, they, they told me, okay, so I asked, and here's the first sign that I'm losing it. Um, we had to have it written down first off, because I don't want to forget right now. So here's the update. I am experiencing some chemo brain. Um, it has uh, been expressed in the world as in I've been swapping words. I've been mixing my words up. So let's, for instance, say I've been talking about um, like the last video when I was talking about the liver and the histotripsy. I may have said lung at one point. I don't know. I thought I said liver. Um, I was told I said lung. I should actually go back and watch that, but I'm sure maybe I did mix it up. I'm not surprised. I'm so sorry. I meant liver. So liver, liver, liver for the histotripsy. It's the only organ that's been shown to um, be tested on and works on. So liver, it's kind of a dense organ, not the lung. Um, I also managed to forget my purse in one of the little coffee shops I brought my sister into, which I didn't get far because my keys were in there. And I, I mean, I was only a couple seats away and I was like, I forgot my purse, so it wasn't terrible. But that's not something I would normally do. Um, I left my food out at the office. I went to the office this weekend and I took out some meat that was in the freezer and I was like, oh, we'll take this home, this is great. And I left it out and um, so it thawed and was wasted. I just saw it when I went to work today on Wednesday. So super bummed. Um, it was only one frozen bit, but that was, uh, it was sad, sad loss. So my bad on um, that one. Um, trouble completing thoughts was one that was told to me, I forget what I'm doing or saying, sometimes just in the middle of the sentence. I've definitely noticed that, though I have looked back on videos and it appears that I'm fine. <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, oh, uh, what did I, I was just in the middle and then I, but then I always seem to finish it somehow. So, aha, I can cover up well. Um, it says I've, if I've forgotten that I've done something, oh yeah, if I forgot, like, have I actually checked my bank account or whatever, forget that I've done that. Um, I also have been noted to have a little bit more fatigue lately, which I have noticed. My sun sensitivity has been pretty obvious. I'm trying to avoid the sun, um, but I still love being outside, so this is really hard. Um, I'm, I'm tampering with the, the devil a little right here, and it feels amazing. So just trying to be mindful and keep out of it. Um, I, I rest, but I don't really feel well rested. I'm more easily winded. I have a lower stamina for manual labor. I have noticed that. I don't feel like I have the same, you know, ability to kind of push through as well, but that's okay. I'm trying to limit that a little. Um, I'm more hesitant to exert myself, a little bit more cautious in general. So yeah, definitely all those things I'm experiencing and rightfully so, right? Because I'm, I'm noticing some changes and um, I'm going through big, big changes in my body, a lot of detox, right? If we're killing off the tumor, it's a lot for my body to process. So I'm going to be experiencing some of that anyway. So feeling good otherwise. Um, I'm definitely still noticing a lot of shrinkage in the tumor. I've been using the eye wave very, very religiously, and I'm going to hit it again tonight. I try to use it a lot around the chemo time. Um, so tonight I'll be doing um, the anterior and posterior portion of the liver, hopefully trying to heat up that tumor. Um, and draw whatever's floating around in the body back to that area to try to fight the cancer there. The more I can kind of attack that area, the more I think I'm going to be a candidate for surgery. I'm getting a consult, um, consult with my surgeon on the 29th, um, and that is of May. So that's exciting. So going to get a little idea on if that's a possibility, depending on if she's comfortable working with me 
or what steps I have to take from there. But hopefully histotripsy is in my future. Um, and that has been started up in Georgia. So that's exciting. I also thought I would just show you a few things that I've been taking supplement wise. Um, I can give more information on this in, in the future, but a really big one um, is black seed oil. I've got a few different companies I take. This is one that's pretty high concentration. Um, black seed oil is pretty wonderful. Uh, it's really strong and not the best of tastes. Um, pretty off-putting, kind of like motor oil in a little bit of a way, but if you get it past the tongue, I just kind of pour it back there. It's not too bad. Um, it has been sort of touted as, as the cure-all. It cures everything but death. Um, so a, a really handy thing. I, I especially hit this around chemo time so that I make sure that I'm trying to give my body everything it can to help protect me from um, the chemo. I'm also using as much milk thistle as I can. I try to put it into a lot of my teas. Milk thistle does not get in the way of chemo, which is good. It um, does help my liver process and just gives my liver a boost, um, as well as its anti-tumor, anti-angiogenesis. -angi um, so it has a few other components that are really helpful um, in treating liver issues. I'm doing some royal jelly. This stuff is wicked expensive. Um, it's not mixed with honey or anything, which would probably make it taste a lot better. This is very kind of sour. Um, it's not terrible or anything. Just kind of get it down. Try to take that in the morning and the evening. And uh, that's really helpful for the brain. It has a lot of minerals and vitamins. It's like highly packed, nutritious, very nutritious food group, very highly dense. Um, it also has acetylcholine, which is pretty unusual for a food group or something to get in orally. Acetylcholine is very helpful for the brain. Um, so it's supposed to be very protective and helpful around chemo. Um, I'm doing two different teas. They're like earth restoring and one's more of like a licorice type combination, which has like cinnamon and different um, Chinese herbs. Um, I'm doing these around chemo as well. They're pretty blood building protective. Um, I'm, I've never been a big fan of cinnamon, so the cinnamon E1 is a little um, getting moved out of my, my repertoire a little bit, so I asked to just get more of the blood builder, so I did get the earth de decoction. Um, so I'm going to try that one for a little bit more. I just, I don't know, I have a little aversion for cinnamon. It goes back to some childhood trauma with um, apple crisp. They forced me to eat apple crisp at a young age at uh, kindergarten and I just didn't like cooked apples and then cinnamon came down for the ride as well. I, I'm dealing with it a little bit. I think some cinnamon is okay, but um, I don't know. It, it just, I don't, it's not my favorite flavor. Another one is acetyl um, L-carnitine. This one's good for your brain as well. Good support. I try to mix this in um, in some of my different um, mushroom powders and vitamin C and I try to get a little mix of tinctures. I do a lot of different tinctures. I'll have to show you guys those at some point, but I do a lot of the red moon herbs tinctures um, and some, um, some other folks. Uh, and I try to mix that all in some water in the mornings and evenings as well. And I'll show you that at some point as well, but um, gives you a little idea of some of the things I'm doing is try to support my brain. Uh, it's not going to be perfect. Obviously I think lack of sleep is a, another piece of it. I have been waking up on and off. Uh, we had a picture, fall off the wall last night, three in the morning. So random stuff. But um, on high notes, our chicken is acting kind of like a dog and is following us around and, and enjoying our uh, yard. So that's been really fun to watch her. And uh, the weather's been, you know, a lot of rain lately, which is kind of nice. You know, I've been able to get outside a little bit more. The UV's a little dampened. So um, that's, not, that's not anything to complain about. Um, and yeah. I hope uh, you guys are all having a great day, and I will uh, put together some more fun topics in the future. Otherwise, um, feeling pretty good and hoping to continue this. I hope I can continue to work this week. I had a great day today. I saw five people, so kind of a big day for me. Um, and we'll see where it goes. So anyway, I'll catch you guys up uh, in the future. Thanks so much. Bye.